Hello people and welcome back to my channel. So I asked you uh, on Instagram, do you want to see my uh, red makeup, my favorite reds? So 100% of you said yes, so here's the proof you want to see. And I have a deep passion for red lipsticks and I have a quite a few. And when I enter in any makeup shop, first thing that I do when I come to lipsticks is to see red lipstick. I have only one nude lipstick. I don't uh, try nude lipsticks because I know that I'm not going to wear them and they will be just sitting in my, in my makeup bag or whatever. And I, my goal is to have red, every iconic red from every brand because I just think that it suits me the best. It's open, it, it opens my face, make, makes it more fresh and just a bit classy and beautiful. So fun fact, uh, I bought my first red when I was 15, I think. And it was Max Factor Ruby Tuesday, uh, their iconic red lipstick. And I thought that it's look, it is looking awful on me, that I do not look nice and I don't know, but my mom loved it. And she said, wear that red lipstick, it looks just wonderful on you, your face is beautiful, you have wonderful lips, just try it and wear it. And I was like, okay, okay, I'll wear it, just stop talking, like every 15 year old. And then I started to wear it around my house and just saw that it does look fresh on me and of course that my mom was right. So, little story for beginning and if you want to see my favorite red lipstick, just keep on watching. So here I have sections. I have one from Dior, one from NYX, two from MAC and holy trinity of red lipsticks from Lisa Eldridge. So I will start from Dior. So this is beautiful lipstick by, by Dior, it's in the shade 999 and I'm wearing it uh, right now on my lips. Uh, it is not full pigmented lipstick and it's not matte, it's more like that natural, not glossy, but like balmy finish and texture is like balm, so it's not drying on your lips whatsoever. And I thought that this is very matte lipstick, like very old matte, vintage looking, but it is not and I believe that I maybe bought wrong something, but I think that it is original and it is beautiful lipstick and at first I didn't like it, I have to say, and to be honest with you, I didn't like it because I expected matte and when I put it on my lips I was like, what's going on, this is not matte, this is like glossy finish. I don't understand, I was even mad and then I started to use it more and to just actually I have to learn it how to put this texture and I have to play a bit more and then I realized that I have to put one layer and then blot it, put second layer and then blot it, put third layer and then blot it. It sounds very long process but actually when you have that in your routine it's quite simple and if you want that matte finish you just do this with your with your paper and tissue actually and it is matte it's wonderful it's not very long lasting if you don't blot it and then apply actually when you make stain it is long lasting not extremely but it is but it's uh, it's reapplying is good it doesn't like create very uncomfortable layer when you're applying with which most lipstick does and also I like this packaging I like Dior packaging it is not focusing it here and its smell is like old grandma old lady with mis mixed with cigarettes and whiskey and I like Dior smell of lipstick it's i'm feeling like class lady when i'm applying it to be honest 
and packaging is wonderful. I'm a big fan of vintage packaging. Another lipstick that is actually liquid lipstick. I have only one liquid lipstick or or all uh, lipstick are just that classic in bullet. And this one is my favorite for m I think three years. It's from NYX. It's a red queen. I absolutely love this color and I think that out of all these colors, this lipstick, I think that this color suits me the best. And I would like them to put this color in that classic uh, bullet lipstick because I'm not the biggest fan of liquids. I don't like that applicator that much and I like to just put lipstick. I like that feeling. And this is extremely long lasting product. I eat with it, drink, do everything normally and I don't feel it on my lips. It's matte finish but not that dead, dead matte. It's very nice matte and I just can't say how this is beautiful product. Lady Danger from MAC is for sure one of the most iconic red lipsticks ever. Is that fiery, beautiful fiery red. I almost finished it. It's just one of the most beautiful color, most beautiful texture and I think that MAC uh, needs to do something with their packaging because I think it's a bit old-fashioned that's just my opinion and they have to redesign this packaging but let's go back on lipstick as i said fire red beautiful for summer if you like fire reds i wear it during the summer winter whenever i want and i think that we all know that mac lipstick story one of the most iconic lipsticks very long lasting matte finish sometimes dry uh, they dry my lips, but it's okay. I don't mind. I just moisturize, thumb mo put thumb moisturizer on them, lip balm or anything, and then wear Mac lip lipstick because my lips are naturally very dry. Next from Mac is from their limited edition, and it's from their Christmas uh, collection they had in 2019. And it's not that classic red. It's more that purple, but it's beautiful. It's sparkly, it has that metallic glittery glittery finish. It's extremely comfortable on my lips, which is surprising because it, it has some glitter in it. And I thought that I would feel that glitter on my lips, but I didn't mind because I like that lipstick bullet and, and, and everything, stars. It's just satisfying to watch, I have to say. And I wore it on Christmas Eve, yeah, all morning. I was drinking, I was eating and it reapplied very well. It didn't have that crumbling feeling on it. I thought that it would have because of the glitters again. But you have to spend some extra time by applying it and blotting, apply, blot and pl apply lipstick all over again to get that stain really and it's beautiful color is fun something something different during festive season and I would definitely wear this when it's not festive season because it's really really fun now holy trinity of red lipsticks and of course it's it's Lee Seldridge and my mom bought this for me for my 18th birthday and I remember when parcel came that I was shaking because Lisa Eldridge, of course, is my, I call her my makeup mother because she learned me, she uh, has learned me everything about, about makeup and more. And I have three, Velvet Jazz, Velvet Ribbon and Velvet Morning. If you ask me what is my favorite, I can tell you. I was scared of Velvet Jazz because as you can see, I do not wear very deep lipsticks red but this one blew my mind it, it is just a wonderful shade and it's quite that Taylor Swift reputation shade kinda and my velvet ribbon broke and I can't tell you how I'm sad look 
I don't know how this happened, but it's beautiful shade. It's that classic red, blue undertone red. And the finish of them, as name says, it's velvet. It's not that, that matte. It has that sheen when you turn velvet and it has something, something very interesting. And lipstick are exactly that finish. And for the end, it's velvet morning. It's that kind of red as Lady Danger, so very fiery red. This is more orange by Lisa, and this is more red. But I adore her lipsticks, and it has Magnet, which is very luxe, and I love them. Of course, packaging is also very sleek, simple, gold, and I just love her lipsticks. And friends, this is my lipstick, red lipstick collection. Um, I really hope you like it. Uh, some of my, not some, my favorites actually, my ultimate red lipstick favorites. I probably said lipstick for 100 times in this video, but subscribe, like this video, comment, unlike, do whatever you want, comment whatever you want, tell me your favorite reds if you wear them and see you in the next one. Bye!